and welcome to a chariot race on the Commodore VIC-20 and this is for the unexpanded VIC-20 and this is, well, must be one of the first uh, games I ever played on the VIC-20 and probably one of the first games I ever played uh, and this, uh, don't worry about that, uh, most VIC-20 games tend to do that uh, somewhat limited amount of memory uh, Yeah, so this is uh, one or two players in this race, and uh, as you can probably guess, it's a chariot race, and it's viewed, viewed from an overhead perspective. Uh, and you can take control of a Sinister or Dexter. There we go. And it says, uh, crash them against the wall or back onto them. Go equal speed, go as fast as you dare, too slow, and the fireballs rain down. So, obviously you can't be too cautious, otherwise the fireballs uh, start coming at you. And uh, you can't use the joystick, um, the VIC-20 only had one joystick port, so uh, they've just decided to um, make it key only, keys only. Which uh, was a bit of a squash to get two people on the keyboard sometimes. Uh, so I think we'll go control the Dexter. Remember the keys. And it's an overhead perspective race. Uh, and obviously, I'm on the right hand side here. And because nobody's controlling uh, it's Sinister, he got wiped out pretty early. So, at the right hand edge, there's a sort of column of reds, I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be actually, uh, I can't remember what they are. That's basically your power, and every time you push against a chariot or a chariot pushes against you, it goes down. And so you can't just push forever, um, you've got to be, there's a bit of strategy involved. And the idea is just to survive 20 laps of the chariot race, and you get points obviously for destroying other chariots. I'm going fairly slowly here, this is 188, but it goes all the way up to 250. So it goes pretty fast. I think once, uh, I'm not sure whether it's score or time related, but uh, after a while the other chariots start to get a bit more aggressive. Uh, yeah, you can see now they're starting to become a bit more active, a bit trickier. And they all start pushing you around. So, uh, you've got to be careful uh, not to go in the back of a uh, a chariot, otherwise you will get wiped out pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's get the review on the way. Um, I think graphically it's alright actually. Uh, I mean, it's an unexpanded VIC-20, what, what do you expect? Uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the race circuit's simple but effective. Uh, there's a good sensation of speed actually, I think. Uh, you know, especially once you get to the high speeds here. That's feels pretty fast to me. Uh, the chariots themselves, I think they're quite well animated. Uh, I mean, simplistic, but uh, they do the job nicely. Oops, it gets oh, pushed right against the wall there. Yeah. yeah you've, you've got to be careful. Now, that music does get pretty grating quickly. Uh, music is not great, but I think the sound effects are not too bad. Uh, there's a nice crunch sound when you take out the other chariots, uh, like that. <laughs> that. That sort of metallic sound uh, when, you, when you're pushing against the other chariots does get annoying pretty quickly, actually. Uh. But. Uh, yeah. I suppose you do need a, 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 a bit of feedback that you know your your meter's going down if you're if you're not looking at it. Uh, it. Definitely gets your attention. Yeah, the, the sound of the I, suppose, well, I guess it's the sound of uh, you, you know your horse running, but uh, it does sound a bit silly, but uh, it does give a, a nice feel. Oh.
So I used to play this in two-player mode a lot when I first uh, got my Vic 20. And it's great fun with two players, but uh, it's still quite a good game with uh, one player, I think. Uh. Oh. I may go a bit slow so you can see the fireballs. Yep, so the graphics are alright, the sounds not too bad. The gameplay's great, uh, once you go to top speed, uh, you can. Uh, yep, you can move around up and down the screen as well as uh, controlling the speed. So I said I was going to slow down, didn't I? So once you're going too so slow, the, the firewall starts to come down. The, the crowd's also not happy with uh, the race. There we go, and they are. They, they will take you out right away. And to be fair, the other chariots do seem to move out the way. Uh, so there is a bit of sort of rudimentary uh, AI. They don't just blindly go up. Go, go on the racetrack and you know, let the fireballs go into them, they actually do get, get, get out of the way of them. So I think it's overall, I think it's pretty good for an expanded game, it's all squeezed into 5k, uh, and that includes, you know, the, the graphics, <laughs> the sound, uh, the screen memory, and also the, you know, just displaying stuff on the screen requires a bit of memory. Um, so I think squeezing all this into 5k is pretty good going. There's no bugs or anything, it feels really well programmed, so yeah, I think this is a pretty decent VIC-20 game. Uh, so I'll give this 8 out of 10, definitely worth a play, and um, hopefully you'll be better at it than I am, I'm pretty rusty, I used to be uh, quite good at it. Right, so 8 out of 10 for Chariot Race, I'll see you in the next video.